Solo Cups have become super popular since the beginning of Chapter 2, with the platform and Solo Cash Cups running every Wednesday and Thursday. Pros like Benji, Mr. Savage, and Booga have consistently dominated these Cash Cups since the first ones, and that's why today we're going to be analyzing some clips from Booga's first place run in the Solo Platform Cash Cup where he got 87 points and he shocked the entire region. We're gonna be digging deep to see like, what is that Booga does to be so consistently dominant in these cups? What's going on guys, it's the Motivation Guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Just wanna inspire you guys to be great, not only in this game, but also in life, all right? I'm spreading positivity to you, so spread it to other people. Connect with me on my Instagram, I would love to hear from you guys. But before we start this video, if you guys are looking to get better at Fortnite, click the link below to go to ProGuides.com where you can play with the best players in the world. Sign up for our membership at ProGuides and you're going to get a ton of incredible content from the best pro players like Benji and Mongrel and more World Cup champions coming soon. If you want to compete in Fortnite, you got to check out ProGuides.com. All right, guys, so it's time to sit back, relax, get my favorite candy, that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. First, we're gonna analyze Booga's first game of the tournament, specifically his first fight off spawn and how he handles it to come out of early game with good health, weapons, and consumables even when he's contested. If you're trying to get good loot in these cups, your spot will almost always be contested. So this is just so important to learn from, all right? So let's just take a look. All right, so the first thing Booga does before his drop, he scouts around for other players and he checks where they're going. This awareness helps him because he's constantly knowing where people are going to be, giving him an edge in early game. Booga spots one other player with a high drop, so he knows immediately that the player won't contest his building, unless he's crazy and he just wants to die off spawn. Booga tries to peek through the window to get a few surprise shots, but the opponent unfortunately isn't in his sight. Instead of pushing with only a pistol, he takes a few steps back and he goes to loot, knowing that his building has better materials and loot, giving him an edge. You know, it's so important to know your drop spot well, so you can not only loot efficiently, but know where to drop and which opponents are likely to be worse off than you are. Booga hears his opponent building and walking over toward him, so he immediately sets up to fight. He's confident going into this fight since he has a green AR and a tactical shotgun along with extra shields in case they're needed. He immediately gets rid of the window wall so his opponent can't peek and he's ready to box fight. He sees his opponent in the back of the tile in front of him, right? So he takes this opportunity to ramp over him. This is great because it puts the opponent in a small confined space and gives him the ability to play different angles and edits. Booga essentially has complete control over his opponent now. His opponent hops out to the side, but Booga immediately covers him from above and edits down for an easy 75 damage shot. This is a great example of why you should always play from above in box fights, because your opponent will struggle to get shots off on you while you have the ability to peek whenever you want. After this, Booga realizes his opponent only has an SMG, since he would have used his shotgun by now if he had one. Knowing this, he takes the 50-50 fight, knowing it's greatly in his favor. After all, he has a tack shotgun and his opponent has an SMG. Unless his opponent has an aimbot, then it's a pretty easy kill. And that's exactly what it was. Booga quickly cleans up the kill with no issues. This clip is a great example of Booga's awareness during fights. He knew his opponent didn't have a shotgun solely by just looking at his weapon usage and took advantage of that by forcing him into a close range fight in the open. Along with that, this clip also shows the importance of knowing your drop spot so you can just ensure you have better loot when fighting in early game. All right, guys, so this next clip is a real treat. <laughs> in this one, we're going to analyze how Booga handles his late game. He has 150 HP, almost maxed out of materials, two floppers, and six minis. The fifth zone pops up on his map and he immediately begins to plan his route there. Looking around in front of him, he sees a long wooden tunnel and decides to head over to it since it doesn't look like it's occupied. Using your opponent's builds to rotate is super helpful, guys, as it's just really hard to conserve materials in this low mobility meta. Once he gets to the tunnel, this guy realizes there's a player rotating under him. Would you take this fight if you're a Booga? Hmm. Booga decides that this player isn't a threat and he's just already set up for a great rotation, so he decides to hold off on this fight. After this, Booga looks around and he sees that the coast is mostly clear and that he can rotate in the open. So Booga takes this opportunity to run straight to the zone without building, but he's always ready to build if he gets shot at. He continues to use as little builds as possible to get to the zone, so he has more to tunnel in later zones. Once he gets in, instead of just building a giant base or contesting height, he sits comfortably, you know, chilling, relaxed, in a metal box on low ground. 
Keeping his materials in mind, this whole rotation cost him a total of about 200 materials. He's gonna have way more material than his opponents going into the final zones, and we're gonna see later how much this really benefits him. Oh no, oof. A player above Booga decides to spam grenades at him. However, Booga makes a safe, easy play here by just moving out of his box. Instead of spam building inside your box when you get naded, just exit the box into another one like he does. Once the enemy is stopped, he rebuilds his box. Instead of wasting 200 to even 300 materials spam building around to tank the grenades, he spent about 50 on a new box to avoid them as a whole. We can really see how his materials are starting to benefit him now. As he's got over a thousand going into the fifth zone, while most of his opponents probably have a few hundred and are desperately looking for kills to raise that number. Okay, so let's fast forward a bit. The sixth zone has popped up and it's definitely a rough one. This zone is pretty much like the furthest it can get from Booga, so he immediately hops out of his box to start the rotation. If he rotated late on this zone, he'd get held in the storm and have no way to survive. Someone gets a lucky laser on him from behind, but not to worry, this is why pros carry heals in late game all the time. You know, getting lasered is just the norm for Booga. <laughs> Booga heals up and he gets back in the game right away. So we see here that Booga is near another player and tries to score some shots on him. If you were Booga, would you take this fight far from safety or would you continue rotating to secure a better spot in later zones? If you choose the second option, you're correct. Booga decides to continue rotating as his opponent likely has good health and is still pretty far from the zone. Note how even at this point in the game, he's still focused on preserving his materials and only starts to use a bit of wood once he's ready to tunnel in. Booga sees that high ground isn't heavily contested apart from one little brick box, but ultimately decides once again to preserve his materials and wait until later to push height. All right, so keep in mind that tarping on height takes one or two bills per tile, which can add up really fast. At this point, Booga's just trying to look for something called an impact frag. Okay, so an impact frag is a late game kill with the goal of getting more materials, loot, or even setting yourself up for a better position. We can see Booga is low on materials, so this is just the reason he's searching for an impact frag. He sees a player in a box near him, right? And decides to take a few shots. He ends up getting a brutal laser on this player, woo, and tries to push in for the kill. However, the zone is starting to get closer. So Booga decides to wait a bit before getting his frag. He uses a low material tunnel with a floor and ramp to get into zone and sets up a quick metal box once he gets there. Okay, so at this point, Booga knows he absolutely needs a frag and he only has 17 builds left. He gets RPG down, so he only has six after basing back up. But wait, there is a player right next to him who doesn't even know that he's there. This is the perfect opportunity for Booga, all right, to get a quick kill. He edits out, hits a beautiful 140 headshot, and dives in for the easy kill. Now that he got his impact frag, he almost has 600 materials and he's completely set up for the next rotation. Instead of just sitting back and trying to fight, Booga starts his rotation and once again does a low material tunnel to get to zone. This decision to rotate early gets him in front of everyone else and he's now in the best position out of everybody. Booga continues to rotate and once he's near the zone, he decides to look back for some kills. When Storm is behind people, <laughs> they don't think straight. So it's a perfect opportunity to get picks. We can see immediately how this pays off, as Booga is able to break down height, scoring him two easy kills and an opportunity to push up. All right, so after building up a bit, he now has control over the entire lobby. With his RPG, he gets a beautiful elimination on Sis Lucky, another pro player, but wait, he's out of materials. This is the beauty of impact frags, guys. Booga decides to target the player second from height, and he's tunneling and likely has a lot of mats. He scores a beautiful headshot with his purple pump after the enemy makes the deadly mistake of going near his edits. Don't do that. And look, Booga's back to 600 material just like that. Has high ground and only has two enemies left. Beautiful. With his RPG, materials, and high ground, Booga continues to look down and go for any angles possible. Once it's a 1v1, he scores a beautiful RPG shot on his opponent, continues to put on pressure and hold height until his opponent runs out of materials in the final circle, scoring himself a win. Nine kills and a trip straight up the leaderboards. All right, so we can take away a lot from these two games. So let's do a quick recap. All right, so first things first, guys. We can see how well Booga knows his drop spot and how his drop gets him better loot and more materials. Second, we can see how Booga uses sound to his advantage to tell where his opponent is, to make sure he always has the advantage. And finally, Booga's use of high ground peaks in his early game box fights is one of the main reasons why this guy is so consistent in surviving off spawn. 
First, we can see Booga's amazing use of a low material ramp floor tunnel to get into zones and conserve materials. Second, we can see his perfect impact frag strategy, where he finds off-guard opponents to get quick kills on to just replenish his health and materials. Third, Booga's early rotations not only put him in the best position, but set him up for easy kills on late rotators. And finally, man, his use of high ground in the final zones is completely unmatched. Booga got five kills from high ground in the final three zones, simply by holding height and using his RPG to its max potential. Booga, this guy is an absolute mastermind when it comes to solos, and by using the strategies outlined in this video, you're gonna be one step closer to dominating solo arena and cash cups just like he does. Keep in mind though, it's gonna take practice, but you know what, I believe in you guys, we believe in you, so keep going, because practice makes perfect. And the more you play scrims in arena, the better you're going to get. So keep grinding, my friends. The sky is not the limit. Maybe it's the limit in Fortnite, but it's definitely not the limit in life. You're going to get there soon, guys. All right, guys. Once again, it's the motivation guy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Want to tell you once again that I believe in you guys. I'm your number one fan. Keep going no matter how hard it is. Spread positivity wherever you go. Connect with me on my Instagram. I would love to hear from you guys. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to use code ProGuides in the Fortnite item shop when you make any sort of purchases. You know, it just really helps us out and we really do appreciate it. Comment down below what you guys thought about the video and uh, what you'd like to see next on the channel. We know we aim to bring you guys the best daily Fortnite content. So do us a favor by liking the video subscribe to the channel and show proguys.com some love for bringing you this video all right once again we'll see you later